An online mob of leftist students and activists are likely celebrating right now as they have succeeded in getting someone from a university to resign just for being a conservative. The mob's target was Michael Korenberg, the chair of the University of British Columbia, or UBC, Board of Governors. And what did he do to get himself in trouble? Well, he was caught liking tweets, multiple tweets, by some mainstream American conservative pundits like Dinesh D'Souza, Ann Coulter, and Charlie Kirk. And unforgivably, one of the tweets he liked was critical of Black Lives Matter. And we all know you can not criticize the group Black Lives Matter. He also liked a tweet by the Team Trump account that celebrated Antifa being designated as a domestic terrorist group. And he liked a couple tweets that wished Donald Trump a happy birthday. So, an Antifa-affiliated campus group called the UBC Students Against Bigotry, whose whole mandate is to get right-wingers and non-conforming leftists deplatformed and fired, they start combing through Korenberg's Twitter likes and flagging everything that they personally disapprove of. And then this UBC Board of Governor guy, his list of liked tweets be became headline-worthy for the leftist media. The Taiyi called his social media history disturbing, and uh, later the province copied that same line. And I am sad to say that Kornberg did the thing that you shouldn't really do in this situation. He said that he regrets liking the tweets, and he gave a weak excuse about how he liked the tweets late at night. He also said he wasn't aware that his Twitter likes were publicly viewable, and he affirmed his support for Black Lives Matter. And look, maybe he's being genuine. Maybe he really does support Black Lives Matter. Uh, maybe he really did like these tweets, you know, late at night when he was just so tired and not thinking properly. Um, but it, it really is a shame that we can't just say, or he couldn't just say, yeah, I liked those tweets and I like those conservative pundits. So what? A couple of UBC professors started advocating for Korenberg to resign, and, well, they got what they wished for. Korenberg has resigned as chair of the UBC Board of Governors, effective immediately, as of Saturday, June 20th. He wrote on Twitter, Over the past two weeks, some articles slash statements that I liked on Twitter supported regressive voices and took aim at thousands of brave individuals who are standing up against racism, discrimination, and hatred. I accept that in liking these social media posts, I damaged what I support and that I hurt people. I wholeheartedly apologize to them, particularly to the students, faculty, and staff of UBC. I have stepped down because it is the right thing to do. And that really is all he's resigning for, folks, because he liked some tweets featuring basic Republican talking points. Some journalists had a really strange reaction to this story. First, they were wrongly crediting the student newspaper with breaking this story, uh, when, as I just explained, it was the campus Antifa group, Students Against Bigotry, who started all this. And then one blue check journalist said that getting Korenberg fired over his Twitter likes was great, important journalism. I tried asking her what she meant by that, uh, but no response yet. So let this be a lesson. Sometimes people will mockingly talk about a conservative victimhood complex and they'll say, oh, conservatives always think they're being persecuted even though it's not the case. But this Korenberg situation shows that even if you are a basic Fox News Republican, uh, mainstream conservative, the activists really are after your job. I'm Lindsay Shepard with True North. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.